came up, brought up, up the hill there. It's loader, it's a bottle of cans. Deck is kind of full. Number six by eight to ten foot right there. Cans. I come in here. David here. Operates the lever and they cut up a certain size for the length. Got a big old smile on it. Got a saw blade in there. They cut the end off of them, make sure they're good and flat. It goes right through that like it's nothing. Then it goes through the bandsaw. But it's very sharp. See, that one ain't even being used right now because there's no need of it. That's pretty much like cutting it in half. That's a... Lorenzo Jr. <laughs> Hey, he's a neat sale steroid. He's a pumped up. Basically, his job here is when it comes off, he takes a, the excess wood and goes over here on the little pile. And it just kind of rearranges it before it goes in these next bandsaws. A lot of moving parts. Come on, size me go. This little thing here. When they're running, they're fixed to go to break, but when them bandsaws are going, this belt right here, on this side here, you'll hit that board and shoot it in that bandsaw. It's got seven heads. Basically, seven places to cut the wood, which it's very rare that all seven of them are going. There's major seats on that dude you don't want to play with it you can see this still right here it's a vacuum system throughout the whole place it vacuums it all out side to a big cyclone to a big old pipe that dude here's an empty one over here we can go to they'll suck your hat right up in there <laughs> Armando! That's a Jose Martinez, hardest working guy here. One, one coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can find Armando over here. Yeah, Armando's over here talking to David. He don't speak much English, but he is about the best guy there you can come across. I think he's running from the camera. Come on, side amigos. Yeah, do the do the sound. <laughs> he can touch his eyebrows, but he gets his eye, his eyes wet. You know, he's a good guy. There's proof, texting on the job. There's always something to do around this place. They're always doing it. That's some scrap wood there. Basically, when that, that time it comes through all them machines right there, it comes out, it's basically the opposite end. That scrap right there, that's fixing to go to the trash pile, burn pile. Here's the good stuff. Which these are just deck boards and we make pallets out of them. It looks pretty good to me. You know, there's some of them in there that won't make it. You know, they they might think it's good here, but when it gets to the other end, it won't be good. You know, it's not up to their par. Let's walk back over here. There's that Jose Martinez <laughs> reading his Bible. <laughs> Let's go over here and see if we can 
Ah, caught Alvaro drinking water. Alright, everybody's on candy camera here. He's our number one hand forklift driver. Hey, how you doing, Henry Neal? I mean, I, I'm sorry, Alvaro. Come on, stop. Say hello. You don't like the camera? You, this is America's Most Wanted. <laughs> anyway, these are hunters on the camera. Alright, this is a Viking Turbo 505, one of the best they ever made. Alright, of course, we get a lot of our runners from other people, but we make them ourselves. And, uh, there's one guy here who'll take these runners and put them in the machine like this right here. This is a four-stringer pallet. There's a cable chain deal that'll come around and pull them, pallet, them runners in there. And there's a guy here who puts them deck boards that we took a look at a while ago. Down on the bottom, which is the bottom board. And there's the nailers on the inside of there. See all them nails running around? Well, they will be when it's running. And a lot of them spill out. And then when it comes out, the pallet is upside down right here. And it'll come down like through here to the star turner, and it'll flip it upside down. I'm getting somebody to follow me here. <laughs> Anyway, it'll come up to this machine, which is almost a clone of the first one we looked at, because it flips it over, but it puts the top boards on there. But here they are here. You know, they, some of them ain't too pretty. And they go through here, which is another nailer, and nails all the boards. But this guy here is the one that does the quality control, and he really got to know his stuff. I mean... One that runs this in here is Lorenzo. We'll go meet him here in a minute. But boy, he's got a tough job. And they, uh, I don't know. He, he's probably the most important guy in this place, you know, when it really comes down to it. Of course, if you don't know what that is, that's the stacker. Whenever the pallet comes through, it comes over and back this way and hits this little deal here. It goes up. And then here comes another pallet. It'll go up, and you know, it just keeps stacking the pallets up. There's some of them on trailers out there. Them are used pallets there that we buy from other people and heat treat, and then we ship them off to our customer. There's a load ready to go after it's strapped down. Return to NCI. There's their own for uh, I was going to go there today, but uh, they closed a lot before they got all the pallets done. Now we're over here. As you can tell we got lots of stock here. We used to have a nailer right there. That's just one that we got in here for parts. But the fire we had took that nailer out. And the Turbo 505 also. The new office over there. There's Alfonso. He's weird as all get out, but he's a hard worker. Kind of stuck his, well, That's a lot of pallets, so he's ain't. How many pallets is over there? Uh, three loads and eight, eight stuck extra. Three loads. So it's 630. Yeah. 630 times three and eight more stacks. Eight more stacks. You can do your math. <laughs> Anyway, he's following me around looking at the screen. <laughs> Over here we got the hand nailers, which we don't do a whole lot of hand nailing anymore, but all these pallets here are built by hand. Angel and Armando do that. There's usually our smaller pallets or the a real big one. Let's come over here and meet the guys that are on break. There's Vicente and Gerard. Say hello to the boys. 
If there's any single guys out there, this guy right here is, <laughs> is definitely interested. You know interested? Okay. There's Lorenzo. Yeah, he Papacito. There's Angel. Yeah, he's... A... <laughs> he's constipated or something. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Hey boy, yeah. Anyway, he's the one that runs that nailer that has the important job. He's the one that throws the runners in the beginning that I showed you, and he's the next guy. So he's the guy that actually builds the mass produced failures. He's the one that's the hand nail. There's some of our stock here. Basically, that board is half inch thick. Five inches and seven eighths wide and forty eight inches long with seven hundred and ten in the package. If you look at it every day and see it every day, that's just kind of common sense, you know, kind of like, duh. But I guess if you didn't see it, you'd be like, what does all them numbers mean? Take you a little bit to figure it out. Ain't too bad. We bought these at Warren Fork up there in Thayer, Missouri. Good people. We get a lot of stuff from them. They got a lot of hardwood stuff. Cause we get some stuff, it's like this right here, you know, it's kind of starting to get a little mold on it. We can't have that. We can't have mold on our, some of our pallets, especially the wood, as a food pallet. I'll take, show you one of our loads here. We got two drivers here, me and another guy. And whenever I ain't got nothing to haul, I work around here driving the loader or doing different things. When he ain't got nothing to do, he goes home, but he he can't do some of the stuff I do. He's an older guy. That's our heat treater here. We take pallets and put them in there, and then there's a big old huge furnace. They'll heat them dudes up really hot. And keep them there. I think it's 160 something degrees. I could be wrong. Here's some that's in there. Them are 48 by 36. And there, see our heat treat stamp. Pretty important stamp. It's got to be just about perfect. They would actually cool that one right there. They'll probably restamp that once they get it out. It's got to. I mean, be perfect. Them guys are picky. No bark on any of the heat-treated pallets. They all go overseas. Most of them are supposed to be. That's why they're heat-treated. You keep the bugs, uh, stuff like that, out of them. But, yeah. Here's some that are kind of getting staged to getting ready. Some more reused, re recycled ones. We uh, take them out here where it's let them cool off. And the guys will stamp them with the stamper there's some more cut stock there there's our van dock we got three 53 footers and one 48 footer we don't use a 48 footer at all anymore but we use the 53s quite often and pretty neat little setup here it's kind of under construction now due to the fire I'm going to take you out here and show you the barn sweep now.